Oh, what the f- What? Alright, well, uh, what's up everybody? Welcome back to uh, the Fallout 3 playthrough. Uh, I just spawned in uh, after not playing for a day or two, and uh, well, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard now. And, uh, yeah, um, do you hurt me? Oh, he's dead. Well, last episode we got to uh, Megaton. I hope I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> but we're, we got to the city. We're trying to find our father. Uh, what is up, Deputy Weld? Have yourself a nice visit, partner. Hey, thank you, man. Welcome to Megaton. Megaton. Okay. Around. Well, I'm excited to keep playing today. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see how it goes on key, on mouse and covered. keys. Ooh. Names Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too. When the need arises. But Lucas. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Hey, thank you, Lucas. Just met you, but you're so nice. Uh, nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Cool. Well, God, you can be very aggressive. Uh, right, message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Uh, wow, we could talk about a lot of stuff. Um... Tell me about your town. What do you want to know? Why is it called Megaton? The town's named after the bomb that's sitting in the middle of it. It hasn't gone off yet. Uh, yeah, why would you build a town around a bomb? It's not like the place was put up overnight. Megaton's been here for decades, been growing and growing ever since. Started out as a small settlement of people trying to get into Vault 101. Oh, wow. When they were denied, they stuck around here. Some of them started worshiping the thing like a god. Now we've got a whole goddamn church. They're nuts, no doubt, but mostly harmless. Oh, shit. By now, most people don't give a shit. They figure if it ain't gone off by now, it never will. I respectfully disagree. Yeah, what? Bro, I would not sit next to a bomb. <laughs> um, okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, I can see about disarming that. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Sure. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Ooh, 100. God, 26%. That ain't going to work. Um. You don't need a reward. I couldn't sleep at night knowing you could all die. Hundred caps, or I'll take a look at it. Uh, sure. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Power of the atom. Um. Yeah, let's keep asking questions. Uh, know about know anything about the area outside? It's Megaton. called the wasteland Megaton. for a reason, but there are settlements too spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south, you've got Rivet City, but don't bother going to DC. The place is a war zone. Rivet City, okay. So DC is pretty much screwed. Um, yeah, let's get some directions sure around the thing, town. thing, partner. What do you need to find? Uh. Actually, I'm all right. I'll just sure explore thing. myself. What's on your mind? Hmm. Okay. Now that I'm helping you, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for my dad. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. <clears throat> Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Moriarty. Okay. Investigate the nearby town of Megaton uh, for information about Dad. Speak to Colin Moretti. 
Don't right. blow us up now. Yeah, let's go look at everything. Alrighty, uh, who are you? Yes. Megaton Settler. You looking to trade, stranger? Check out Crater Side Supply. Okay, okay. Alright, we got the saloon over here. Sheriff, Clinic Commons, Luxury Apartment. Luxury, you say? Wow, this game is dark as balls, bro. Holy sh... Nikes. Alright, well... Oh, that's Lucas's house. I'm alright. Actually, can I turn the brightness up a little? It's really... Yeah, I need it up a little bit, bro. There we go. Ah, oh, much better. Okay. It was like pitch black before. This flashlight didn't really do much. Uh, saloon, supplies, restrooms. Okay. Oh, man. I want to see this place during the day, though. Pretty cool. Oh, wow. They literally built it, like, in the pit of a bomb, I would assume. And that looks like the bomb. Oh, no. That's the bomb. <laughs> what is that? Okay. Uh, water processing plant? Sure. Kind of down to explore everything around here, bro. Um, okay. Okay. I like what you got going here. Mm. Not really looking to steal anything yet. Why is the sensitivity so freaking nuts? Oh my goodness. Look at this. Sorry for all the pausing, but let me... Uh, that's a little high. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's better. Okay. All right, we got some uh, filing cabinets. Stack door. Oh. Walter. Walter. I got nothing to say to you. Get yeah. your dick away, Walter. It? Damn, bro, you are sunburnt. Look at your wrinkles. Uh, what's the word around town? Well, people have been saying that the water purifier is about to go. Honestly, I'll tell you what I tell them. I've been keeping that wreck going for 35 years, and this is the first time I've ever had a problem I couldn't fix. Hmm. What do you do around here, though, buddy? I take care of the water purification plant. This old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water. For now. Okay. Uh, but what can you tell me about Megaton, bro? What can I tell you about Megaton? Well, Megaton. that fucking bomb is killing us Whoa. all slowly. How's that for a piece of information? <laughs> okay, you're right to the point. Uh, what can I do to help around here? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers. But if you've got the know-how... I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. I can do that. How many leaks you got? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. All right, I'll keep that in mind, sir. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. All right. I don't have to well, go now. Back to work. Back to work. Motherfucker, you're sleeping. Damn. Got that crispy lineup, though. What are you eating? Squirrel on a stick. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's leave. So around town, we got to prepare some, uh, some holes. I don't know how we're going to disarm the bomb. I have no idea how one does that, but... Ooh. I wonder what these valves are going to look like. I don't really know. I'm sure we'll find one just by walking around. And back here. Let 
What is down here? The crater side supply. Oh, okay, I can't go in there right now. Hmm. Oh, there we go. There's one. Wait. How do you repair it? Oh, wait. The pipe appears to be damaged, but the source of the leak isn't immediately clear. It'll take a master plumber to fix it. Repair of 30 or higher required. Damn. What am I? What am I? Repair. Ah. That's annoying. Okay. Well, we know what they look like at least, so. It's good to know. I guess we could check this bomb out. Uh, you lack the explode. Twin explode. Oh wow, you lack the explosive skill needed to interact with the bomb. Explosives twenty five or higher required. All right, so a lot of things are like stat based. That's actually not not bad. I have an idea. Uh, the Megaton Clinic. I assume this is for like changing my appearance and whatnot. Wait, hollow tape. Uh, wanted, trustworthy surgeon. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one: don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Um... Anything about some android who needed... What is that about? Oh, wow, you can do a lot. Uh, what do you know about the people here? A doctor doesn't talk about his patients. At least not to strangers, he doesn't. I'm only trying to help, Doc. All right, look. I'm only telling you this because you seem like an okay sort, and I'm hoping maybe you can talk some sense into the boy. Leo Stahl. That boy got himself a problem with Jet. I've caught him in here two to three times trying to steal what I keep around for anesthetic. Not even Leo. his own family knows it. He goes up to the water treatment plant at night to get high. <laughs> I don't know. I can't reach him. Maybe you can. Okay. We gotta talk about Leo or get up there to him. Uh, what do you do around here? I'm the town doc. If it's cut, I sew it up. If it's infected, I cut it off. <laughs> okay. Uh, what can you tell me about, about Megaton? I have to say, of all the rat-infested hell holes that I've lived in, this one is the least hellish. All right, so Megaton's like a decent place. Out here. Uh, do you know anything? What is this android? Some VIP from up north looking for surgery and computer expertise. I don't pay attention to that crap, and neither should you. I don't even know what that was about. Quest added. The replicated man. Yeah. Bye. Learn more about... Oh, here we go. Boom. All right. Uh, here's a good question. Do we do? Do we rank some skills up so we can get one of those? Uh, oh, I have to do it right now. Okay. So we can do one of the side missions. I'm thinking explosives, bro. So we can disarm that and then get a hundred caps. Um, I feel like that's stupid. Um, what can we do with explosives? Um, I feel like we should maybe get that up to twenty. Um, repair. I 
I think repair is actually pretty damn useful. Look at that. I, I'm actually down to keep that at 30. Uh, then the last two. Um, I'm down for more speech. Oh, yeah. Then we can pick a perk. Cool. Um, we got Daddy's Boy, Gun Nut, Intense Training, um, Lady Killer. I, I, don't, I don't think that's good yet. I'm kind of down for a Swift Learner. Uh, gain an additional 10% of total experience points. Yeah. I think that's probably good. We also have that hollow tape, so maybe that has to do with... Um, Hey, one. Doc. I'm only sharing this with you because you seem like someone we can trust. Have you heard about the synthetic men they make up north in the Commonwealth? Well, the Ooh. rumors are true. They're called androids. They're men like us, just made out of different parts. I know one of these androids. He's looking for a trustworthy doctor to perform some facial surgery. Can you do it? Do you know someone who can? Also, do you know anyone who's really a whiz with computers? Ooh, is this like a, a synth kind of thing from Fallout 4? Oh wow, I was actually pretty close to getting that. Oh, that dude's preaching to it. Uh, what's up, Settler? He's different. Okay, who are you? Jenny Stahl. Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Or Stahl. Just passing through, it's right? Is your son the drug addict? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Uh, what's the word around town? I ain't heard much. Truth be told, I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? Dude, I feel that to a high degree. Uh, what can you tell me about Megaton? Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. What the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. All right, what's on the menu? Have a look. Most of it's edible. Some of it even tastes good. <laughs> oh, my alert cakes. Don't tell me they're in this game. Oh, man. If you guys didn't know, my alerts are my arch nemesis. Nemesis. I hate them. Remember us if you need something. They just creep me the hell out, bro. Uh, door to the brass lantern. Ooh, is this like a little bar? What we got? Salisbury steak. My dad likes those. The frozen ones too. Ugh. I'm sorry, but those are disgusting. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, okay. We got a little back back room going on here. Wow, I can't even sleep in their bed. Okay. Oh. Leo. Ooh, what's up, Leo? Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Hey, you've been stealing, bro. Uh, what's the word around town? Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. I don't like to spread stuff around, you know what I mean? Everybody has their secrets. Let's keep them that way. Hey, you got some secrets. Uh, hey, who's in charge around well, here? Well, Moriarty thinks he is, but Lucas Sims is the law around here, and everyone knows it. Moriarty. That's a tough name to say. Uh, what can you tell me about Megaton? What's time? to tell? We're alive, so we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I'm I've really got close a to restaurant, you. so I have it better than most. You own this? Oh, are you the husband? I think you're the son. I think I'm just confusing things. What do you do for fun around here? <laughs> well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy. But really, that's none of your business, is it? Oh, it is. There's caps on the line, buddy. Uh, you <laughs> understand you have quite a chem habit. Damn it. Who told you? I, I mean, 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, uh, what's it worth to you to keep out of the public eye? Nah, I want to help you, Leo. Help? What's to help? So I'm a junkie. Big fucking deal. It's not like I'm hurting anyone. Ooh, I got some good speech. You're hurting your family, Leo, and Jenny and Andy, they care about you. Who's Andy? I haven't even met Andy yet. Nice try. I just failed 79%. I never thought about it that way. Can you hook me up? <laughs> yeah, I can. Just please, don't tell Andy or Jenny. And don't ask me about it when I'm at the Brass Lantern. I'll only sell to you when my shift is over. Meet me in the water treatment plant if you need something. Okay. Optional. Oh, I'm gonna get caught if I go, aren't I? Um... Alright. I guess I'll Talk go. Talk to you later, buddy. See ya, loser. Oh, this is Andy. Hmm? Oh, I'm afraid I'm quite busy right now. If it's food you're after, talk to Jenny or Leo. Otherwise, I can't help you. Bro, you're sleeping. What? Excuse me. It's the word around town, Moriarty Andy. pisses in his still. Crazy bastard thinks it's hilarious. Besides, you'll get your throat cut in that pit. You're much better off here. Hey, maybe I'll put that on the sign out front. The Brass Lantern. Cleaner, safer, and less likely to have piss in the drinks. This dude... Piss in the drinks, man. Fuck. Uh, what can you tell me about Megaton, it's a bro? Hole. A dead end. So why do I stay? Well, it's a hole that makes me money. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, know about, Outside about the of area? Megaton? Any place other than here sounds like heaven to me. Fuck this place. Yeah. If it weren't for you wasteland types coming through with your caps, I'd be out of here in a second. Assuming that I could convince Jenny and Leo. Wasteland? He sounds like he's not from the surface. That's odd. I can use some know, directions. You're right. I guess I do look like a signpost. Where do you want to go? Uh, actually, I'm okay. Oh, no problem. I'm not busy at all. Yep, plenty of time to talk to strangers. All right, bye, Andy. Whatever. I need to know what all these relationships are. One of you is the father. I think Leo's the son. I think you're probably... Oh, I can't really tell. You all look the same age to me. So maybe you're all... Oh. Like, I can't. I think he. I don't know. Leo looks like the son to me. Um. What's up, I urge you, my Confessor friend. Cromwell? Who have we here? Could it be a new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome, welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell. Prophet of Atom and father of the undying glow. Please, <laughs> child, come to the church anytime, anytime at all. Oh man, weren't these guys in uh, Fallout 4 in the, the radiated area? The children of Adam or whatever? I do not remember that storyline, but. Uh, what's the news, sir? News? My friend. I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. Earthly pursuits distract from Atom. Of course, now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. Moria. A man never sleeps, so they say. I need to learn a lot of names. Holy cow! Uh, what do you? What can you tell me about Megaton? Megaton? Atom's sacred village. He has chosen this place for the site of his shrine, and we have been <laughs> called. I'm about to disarm that shrine. Outsiders ask us, why did you build a town around a bomb? To them I say, the bomb brings the promise of division and the gift of the glow. The bomb is us. 
The bomb is atom, and thus we are atom, awaiting the day in which each of us gives birth to a trillion new lives. Okay. Uh, Confessor, have you ever traveled outside of Megaton? In home? my youth, I traveled quite a bit, but that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice, yes? The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. Bask in Atom's glow and you will understand. All right, tell me about yes, tell me about the church what of would Adam. You like to know? Um what do you believe? The church of the children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. When that atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two. Thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Occasionally, a divine event occurs, and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here, 200 years ago, where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation. We see creation and unification in Atom's glow. You know, when you think about it, it's actually pretty wild how long-lasting the bomb, like, effect was. Like, 200 years in the future, bro. Like, that's, in that's, that's insane. Because, like, think about how much change is within 200 years, like, normally. It's insane. Uh, anyways, uh, why do you worship the bomb? Those who were called to Atom during the Great Division were very fortunate. They were permitted to aid in the process of Adam's creation. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact. And the bomb, as you call it, represents Adam's capacity for creation. We kneel before it and ask that Adam call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, he will create new life. The hell is wrong with you people? Even knowing the truth, you continue to mock us. How very, very sad. Talk about something As else. As you wish. Um. You accept the. I ain't donating, actually. Why, yes, we do. How much would you like to donate? Change my mind. Very well. <laughs> Actually, you might get something from donating. I'll donate 10 Certainly, caps. How much help can we expect from you? Thank you. I gain karma for that. Very well. All right. Uh, I'm good. I wish you well on your path. Not too sure what the karma system does in this game. Maybe it affects the ending Behold, eventually. He is wow. coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind. The Voltex symbol, bro. Every right. ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. Alright, well let me go let me go. I oh, you can't sprint in this. I actually don't mind that. I don't have to think about Hitting like the shift key or something to sprint. Let me repair this. Repair of the leaking pipe. Nice. Cool. Alright, I see the other one. Uh, armory's up here. What is this? The saloon? Oh, door to Children of Adam. Oh, yeah, Children of Adam. Here we go. Oh man, I forget in Fallout 4 how they like survived. Oh, the glowing sea, that, that's what it was called. You know, I'm realizing now I'm probably spoiling things. Um, yeah, I'll stop talking about Fallout 4. I apologize. <laughs> Hopefully I, uh, I'll stop talking about it. 
Open the shack door. Ooh. Oh, I would have loved to read this, bro. I just don't want people to shoot me, bro. There's probably some juicy stuff on that terminal. Child of Adam. Even those who are not dedicated children of Adam may bask in his glow. Oh, Mother... Mother Maya? Hello, sweet child. Hello, I don't believe we've met. I'm Mother Maya, prophet of the Adam and embracer of the universal light. Remember, sweet child, that as children of Adam, the fabric of the universe itself is ours to weave. So, welcome to Megaton, and peace be with you. All right. What's the word around town? I'm not one to gossip, but I do know a few things. For instance, did you hear that Lucas wants <laughs> someone to disarm our bomb? Imagine the blasphemy. Oh. I can't believe it. I mean, I don't believe it. He would never do that to us. I was wondering if that would divide the community a little bit. So maybe it's not. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't upgrade my uh, thing yet to do that. That might be like a pretty significant part to this. I don't know. Uh, tell me, tell me about the For church. For those answers, I shall direct you to my husband, Confessor Cromwell. Oh, that's your husband. Okay. Adam's light be with you, sweet child. All right. This is wild. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave. Um, you guys have a nice day. What the f to his power, feel his glow, and be divided. There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. For in the division, we shall see our release. Wow, I love old games, bro. <laughs> this stuff is so funny. All right, armory. Uh. Oh wow, I can't go in there. Uh, I guess that's like okay. They're not selling things from there. All right, that makes sense. I'm uh, pretty sure I've men's restroom. What does this look like? What does it look 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 like? Look 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 like any day, Junior. Um, all right. I will not take a bath in here. Oh man, they don't got soap. They don't got nothing, bro. Bunch of dirt bags. Nathan. Ah, look at this! Ta ha! New Tell blood! Me, boy, you ever hear of the Enclave? The last Ooh. remnant of the good old USA they are. Now, I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot, and any patriot worth his salt is gonna toss his gun in for the yes, Enclave. Yes, sir. Any day now, they're gonna roll up here, and then this nightmare oh. will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, tell me more about the Enclave, bro. I don't really know much the about them. the American government. The Eagle. People, comma, we the. The more perfect union. All right, so it's like a self-established government after the bombs dropped, I guess. Um, uh, if you've never seen the Enclave, how can you know anything about them? They're on the radio. They huh. have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. They got flying robots all around, watching everything, so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. Yeah, why do you support the Enclave? Why? Why? Look around you. This is the good old USA. Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. And it's your duty and my duty to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? Huh. Um. Hmm. Are you kidding? It's the duty of a citizen to question his government. Sure. Why, that's unthinkable. Where in the Constitution does it say that we're supposed to run around questioning the government? Huh? 
Uh, do you think people fought a war with tyrants when... Well, they didn't give us guns, eh? If we fuck up, feel free to take us out. Um... This one's pretty funny. I really don't know. I skipped American government class back in the vault. I don't mean to embarrass you, but maybe you should learn your history before you argue with a patriot. It's okay, though. That's what we have a government for. To do the hard things so we don't have to. But what else did you want to know? Yeah, this sounds like politics in the current day. That's all I need to hear. Anytime you want another lesson, come on by. God bless the Enclave. Oh, man, that's good to know. So Nathan, wait, the actually, there was something else. What's the word around town? I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Manya. All right, I gotta God go. bless the Enclave. The Enclave. I'm excited to hear more about them, bro. Uh, you're just a settler, aka useless. Ooh, Moriarty Saloon. Here we go. Oh, you are a nasty son. Oh, you look special. Ah, uh, come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. Ew. My, my. Mr. Burke. when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool and makes you a rather valuable individual. Uh, if you've got a point, make it. As you wish. I'm looking to employ an individual with no ties to Megaton, no interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete, the last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to go away, and you are going to see that it does. Yeah, what? You're going to destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. Does this guy belong the to? The detonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much. Oh alive. my god! All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. How much, how much are we talking here? Sims wants me to disarm the bomb. Megaton is under my protection. You're going to leave. Um, I have your mind. Yeah, let's do this. Sims is an idiot. He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. I mean, I want to know about your background in this, bro. Um... Yeah, what's in it you for mean, me? Besides doing the world a favor by removing this pestilent scab of a town? Why, you'd be rewarded most handsomely. My employer is a very generous man. Ooh. If it's bottle okay. caps and luxury you're seeking, you shall have it. Who's your employer? I want to know these. Oh, wow, my speech is going down. Um... I mean, I'm, I'll be honest, bro. You're kind of out of your mind. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Jericho. Ah, oh, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. Uh... Yeah, that was mean. Uh, you don't look like you belong here. What's your story? There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I've put all that behind me. Uh, have you considered getting back out there? What? Back out where? 
Out there in the waste, man. You must be bored of tears in this town. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Yeah, it sounds uh, terrible. Yeah, you're right. Stupid idea anyway. Uh, what's the word around town? A little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. Ooh. Should buy you some. <laughs> You're gonna have to do better than that, kid. Thanks for the drink, though. You fucker. Ugh, what do you know around here? Me? I don't do a damn thing. Well, unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich or something. He's fucking ripped sure, me off. Sure, I'm the best shot in town with a rifle, so everyone comes running to old Jericho when the raiders show up. But between raids, they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> uh, what do you know about the wastelands, None Jericho? Of your fucking business. Uh, okay. Uh, did I miss something? What's your problem with me? Heh. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think so. Uh, never mind. You're goddamn right. I don't feel like fighting right now. Uh, have you ever considered getting back out there? This again. Okay, I'll... Oh, I said that already. <laughs> Why the fuck would you start saying it if you weren't gonna finish? <laughs> back out where? What are you talking about? Oh wow, okay, this is interesting dialogue. No really never mind. See how it is. You best think twice before fucking with me again. Alright, bye asshole. Come back if you need something. Work. Come on, work. What the fuck? Stupid radio. What's up, Gob? Hey, smooth skin. You oh. need something? Oh. A drink maybe? Anything? Anything at all? You are a nat. God oh, fuck, what are you? <laughs> uh, oh, I don't want to be mean. Uh, uh, let me think about for my good man. You're not going to hit me. Aww. Yell at me. Not even berate me a little bit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Shut the hell up, Go, I'll beat it. I'll beat you if I feel like it. No, I didn't plan on it, bro. Well, now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm hey, glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Aw. Thank you, man. Uh, I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Actually, where did you come from? A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, oh, well, okay. I found this place. It's called the Underworld? I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Underworld. I'm actually excited to go there. Uh, what's all this about Galaxy News Radio? I don't know what that Mr. is. Mr. Moriarty but... says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that instead of being stuck in this dive. <laughs> mm. Alright, what else you got in here? I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. All right. God, please, if you know anything about my father, you need to tell me. I was like you once. I wandered into town looking for an escape from this stupid joke of a body I'm trapped in. Now look at me. Very well. Moriarty keeps a computer terminal in the back. On it, he keeps all of the goings on in Megaton. If you can get onto that terminal, I'll bet he has information on your dad. Now get away from me, smooth skin. <laughs> if Moriarty even suspects I told you this, I'm a dead ghoul. All right. Terminal. Oh, terminal in the back. 
You want something? Nah, you're just a settler, bro. All right. Oh, Nova. What's up, Nova? Hi there. I'm Nova. New to Megaton, huh? Do yourself a favor and keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days, and then it's five years later. Uh, what's the story with that? Cool, sure. Ooh, gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Uh... Did you ever work with him? With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and, and I know that he'd like to. It's just, well... I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards oh. aren't exactly high. I actually did not know you were uh, even one I of those. Won't go. Johnnies that are squishier than me are one of them. Okay, why is Moriarty so hard on him? Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. The gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? Oh, we need to kill Moriarty, then. Uh, yeah, he came from the underworld. We don't underworld. talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. Yeah, let's talk about something sure else. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? Uh, hmm. So what does it take to hire you? Uh, what were you saying about the radio huh? stations? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C., but the signal went down a while ago. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I want to know about the Galaxy News you Radio. Serious? Sure. Oh, you must have come from that vault, right? It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Hmm. Uh, I'm not going to ask that question about, about the terminal. Um, what's it take to hire you? It takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't. I don't care. I get paid either way. <laughs> I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Uh, look, I mean, give me more information or point me in the right direction. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's going to help you. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. All right, that's good. Take care of yourself, hon. All right, where is that terminal? Maybe we can, uh... Sneak. Oh. Oh. Yeah, what the hell do you want? You're on it. Okay. Uh. What's up, Colin? Colin Moriarty, at your service. I'm gonna Welcome kill you. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little bar. My slice of You've heaven. Got the caps. I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Oh, wow, okay. Um, huh? My father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. 
I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Oh, wow. All right, this is quite a lot. Uh, my dad told me we were born in Vault 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Okay. Ooh. I don't really think that's going to work. Uh, look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and Daddy's location is yours. A hundred? Very reasonable. Yeah, I'll find out my own. <laughs> well, good luck with that. So far as I know, I'm the only one your dad told where he was going. So, when you change your mind, come see me. I'm usually at the saloon. A hundred cops... Daddy wouldn't think twice if it were you out there. Fuck you. When you're away from that terminal, I'm hacking your shit, boy. Alright. Got a problem? Yeah, you. Alright, uh, what else we got going on up here? I assume this is where we can sleep. Yes? Making a move? Huh? Here we go. Loser. Wow, so we were born here. Uh, door to Billy Creel's house. Sorry for not talking too much. We're really just... What can I do for you, Daddy-o? We're learning a little... Oh, my God! What's up, Billy? <laughs> well, hot damn. Someone new. Always a pleasure. Well, you look pretty Name's clean. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, who's Maggie? I'm guessing oh, that's your daughter. sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, oh. but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. Oof. We've been together ever since. That's nice of you. Uh, know anything about the area outside Megaton? All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't gonna talk about it. Okay, what can you tell me about Megaton? Megaton is the best little town you'll find in the Capital Wasteland. Don't let anyone tell you different. Strong walls, strong people, and strong booze. We've got everything you need to make a life these days. Mm, yeah, what do you do around here? Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. All right, what's the word around People town? People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. And I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? Yeah, I'm about to fix it. I have to Catch go. you later. All right, what's up, Maggie? How Hi. are you? I'm Maggie. I live with Billy. Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. What do you think of Megaton? It's okay, I guess. I used to live way far away when I was little, before Billy found me. 
Who else is around town? I don't talk to most of them. Billy says that I have to be careful, even when people seem nice. And I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. <laughs> I usually play with Harden most days, when his dad isn't taking him out to learn to shoot or something. Billy says that he's going to teach me to shoot one day, too. Hell yeah, Maggie. Who takes care of you, Billy? Billy. Have you met... They... Kill my real parents. But Billy showed up before they got me. And now he's like my daddy. Sort of. Alright. Bye, mister. Deuces, Maggie and Billy. You look... You kind of look like a... Uh, dude from Black Ops. Watson or something? I forget his name. Uh, Weaver. That was his name. He had an eye patch as well. Alright, you guys... Oh. Fucking gnome. Billy, Guardians of the Gilly Frond. Anything for you, honey? Watch you it, will you? Alright. Wait, you know about boys and right right now? Let's oh, talk about boys. Ugh. I always love puberty talks. Is that guy still floating? Nah, he's not. All right. I hear water. <gasps> Attempt to fix. All right, we got two of them down. Common house. What is this? Ah, it's just like a place to sleep. Pretty cool. I really don't see the need for like. Uh, like picking up a lot of scrap in this game just because like I'm gonna take that I didn't say I was stealing take some cigarettes yeah, it's not like you can build uh, like settlements like in Fallout 4 and stuff, so I feel like you don't really need a lot of junk. I mean, maybe you do. I'm sure I'll, I'll learn the more I play, but... Uh, women's room. <gasps> Ellsbury steak and a knife in the tub? What the fuck? It's gotta mean something. Alright. <laughs> what the fuck? It's roped off. Now where has that man oh. got to? Wait. Well, hey there, stranger. I'm Manya, the old coot wandering around here with my husband Nathan. Oh. If there's okay. anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't Manya. ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned enclave all day. What's up, Manya? Uh, I had some questions about this town's history. Actually, what's the word around town? There's only one thing that concerns me in this town these days. What my damn fool husband is doing. He wanders around here all day and all night, preaching about the Enclave and trying to get parts for his guns. I'm not sure who's the bigger fool, him or me. After all, I married him. <laughs> yeah, that's some questions about I can the history. Tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Megaton's history ain't no secret. What's this place made of? Long ago, before the war, there used to be machines. They were like buses, but they flew through the sky, taking people anywhere they wanted to go. Planes. You didn't have to walk. You just went to the air station, bought a ticket, and took to the skies. Anywhere in the world, you just up and flew there. When the war happened, the machines started dropping from the sky. Everyone around here thinks that the bomb made the crater, but it didn't. The crater provided good cover from the dust storms. And when my daddy and the rest of the town decided to build the walls, they used what they had. Yeah, so why didn't they move the bomb? Some of us wanted to, but the Church of Adam was just getting its start then. We needed their help to build the walls and clear mm. the wreckage. If we'd have tried to move the bomb, they would have refused to help. Besides, a lot of people just wanted to leave it alone. It didn't seem to be hurting anything, and who knows what would happen if we messed with it. Uh, there are a lot of parts here for just one machine. Yeah. Good eye. You're right, honey. There are. There was an air station a couple of miles from here. It had been stripped of everything except the planes. 
My daddy got a bunch of people together to go out there, break apart the machines, and drag back what we could use. It took him a couple of months. You can't even tell where the air station was anymore. The wasteland just took it back. Hmm. Hey, why build the walls out of some old flying machine? It's a hell of a lot easier than trying to find enough parts to build walls and houses from nothing. That makes sense. The scrap was there, why not use it? Besides, it's sturdy. It keeps the raiders and the dust storms out. Not all of us had the luck to be born in a vault, you know. I actually wasn't. I was not born in a vault. Misses. I had another question about Megaton. Sure thing, hon. How did the town start? Well, originally, it started as a hole in the ground. My pappy talked about how his father and the original settlers just hid in this crater. It was enough to keep them safe from the dust storms. When things cooled down and people started wandering into the wastes, some stayed behind. The wanderers started coming back here to trade their stuff. By the time my pappy was born, the town was a full-on trading center. Pappy got rich on the caravan routes, and eventually convinced the others to build the walls to hold off the raiders. Hmm. Why did they build the walls? I think it makes sense why they built the walls. So it was just a collection of traders in the beginning. Not at first. It was a collection of people trying to get into the vault, people worshipping the bomb, and a few other refugees. Then the traders came. Now the caravans take care of most of the trading, but before they were set up, it was all Megaton. I worked on the caravans with my father for a while. That's how I met that worthless bag of liver spots I call a husband. Enough, of, if you say enough so, history. Honey. Uh, how did you get here? I was born here, actually. I figured. Just like my pappy. Oh, for a while I helped him scavenge and then later on his caravan. But traipsing around the wasteland is work for young people. After I met Nathan, I just wanted to stop moving around so much. We've been here ever since. Of course, I can't say that it's been good for Nathan's sanity. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think I know yeah, everything else. Come on back anytime you want to hear more. All right. Thanks, Man Manya. Send Nathan home if you see him. And will Manya. All right, Manya's sweet. I don't want to blow this place up. This is technically my home now, too. Now that I realize I've been born here. Um, yeah, I mean, this, this place is pretty damn safe. When you think about it. Alright, what, what else is around here? Jericho's house. Is he here? He's not here. Is he gonna know that I opened it? Oh, I got one of those. You know what? I'm not gonna mess with these people yet. Uh, empty house. Ooh, can I buy a house? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I think I fixed all the spots now. Now you're a settler. I was that abrasive. All right, well, let me get to the the water treatment place. I think we uh, explored everything around here for now. Uh, yeah, let me go talk to Walter. What do you need? Uh, pipes are all fixed. Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. Deal. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant okay. running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Yeah. Uh, sounds good to me. I'll bring you the parts I find. Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. Damn, 200. All right. Fuck yeah, Walter. Let's actually, uh, let's look at my quest, bro. What do we got? Oh, we have a lot. 
Um, I don't. I think these are side quests. I, I think they are. Um, speak to Colin. I already talked to him. Learn more about the android, the escaped android. That could be interesting. Uh, the power of the atom. Uh, meet Leo Stahl at the water treatment plant for mint tats and then disarm Megatron's atomic bomb. Oh wow, this place is heat. Holy shit. This is huge. Uh, Catterbury Commons. All right. So I was soon into the pit. It's that Pittsburgh thing. It was pretty cool. I mean, I assume we'll probably do that one day. So, uh, have I been here? Oh, actually, I haven't. Leave me out of that girl's crazy experiments. I don't get paid enough for that. Okay. Uh, what's up, Moira? Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. Moira. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the forward by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Uh, yeah, where'd you get the, the vault suit back I'm there? I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. She didn't know hmm. a thing about the wastes, and I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Never uh -huh. saw her again. Probably died out there, <laughs> poor thing. In a way, she gave me the idea to write this book. It's yours if you help. Ooh. Sure, I've got plenty to say about the Great. life in the vault. <gasps> Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. Uh... Before my glory. Uh, there was a paradise down there. No fear, no worries, no fighting until dad left. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Oh, we got the armored suit. All right. Hey, what sort of pay? What are we? What sort of work are we Let's talking see. about? Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of <laughs> stuff, you know. But for all that, I hate I can reading. Pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions if you do a good job. Interested? Yeah, sounds good to me. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Uh, all right. Sure, sounds like a great idea, Moira. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like wow. where this it woman is yaps. and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, find and food. how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, <laughs> sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Uh, getting food doesn't sound bad. Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I was going to say that. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. All right, I'll check it. Oh, great. 
food is most important. But see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, what do you know about the android? Have you heard the so-called android recording? It sounds like an ordinary man. Here's a spare copy of that old holotape. It's a hoax for sure. Request for help. Okay. T yeah, tell me about this holotape. I guess they sent those tapes to lots of people. Especially people like me who are interested in technology. Boy, I wish androids were real, though. Have you thought about disarming the bomb? Oh, I couldn't Ooh. do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? Yeah, until it freaking blows up in your face. Uh, yeah, do you sell any specialty items? Oh, do I ever. I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launcher. I sell all the components, too, so you can make the weapon yourself. Don't worry oh, about wow. ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you name it. In fact, if you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All oh, you need is the schematics right. and parts. That's pretty cool. Hey, let me see what you got. Sure thing. Um, okay. Got ammo. Fire hose nozzle, frag grenades, some armor, missile launcher. Wow, the missiles are more expensive than the launcher itself. Hmm. 1100, holy shit. All right, well, I don't think I'm really ready to buy anything yet. Um. Yeah, can you repair some You've stuff? You got the caps. I've got the skill. Um God, that's 197 to fucking that's so much money. Um all right. I'm good. I'm 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 going to leave you now. Good luck with that research. Thanks, ma'am. Uh Oh, wait, I got the uh Armored Vault 101 jumpsuit. Nice. I think a gander at this. How do I... Uh... Ooh, I, do, I don't like the way I look, bro. Pretty swaggy, though. like it. Alright, uh, activate the workbench. Oh, that key. Never mind. All right. Um, I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. I'm not bushy brow. Uh, sure. That was nice to get that little suit. Kind of amazing how uh, this is actually quite different compared to Fallout 4. So, like, I'm honestly, I kind of need to learn quite a lot. Which isn't a bad thing. Just something I've uh, taken notice of. Hmm, but we do need to figure out. I want to disarm. I'm disarming the bomb, bro. When I get a chance. Up. Where was the saloon again? Oh, wait, what is this? Misty Burke's house. Oh. Mr. Burke. Oh, Mr. Burke. Mr. Burke or something. Wait, Lucy West. Who's that? Lucy! From the TV show? Oh, Lucy's not here right now. Okay. Bye bye. Alright, keep going. Uh, at Jericho's house again. Empty house. I would assume. It could be for me if I were to buy a house here. That'd be pretty cool. 
Um, how the hell do I get? Oh wait, I had that hollow tape. Um, quest for help. Listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. Ooh, okay. Why am I walking so slow? Oh no, what did I click? That's caps lock, all right. All right, I wanna look at that dude's terminal. I really don't feel like giving him 100 caps. That's gonna piss me off. I'll be mother and father to a trillion Oh, dude, I hate these Adam people, bro. Spewing their bullshit onto me. Bye. I definitely do not know my way around the town yet. I'm, like, trying to find <laughs> the saloon. Oh, it's up there. Oh, yeah, this is the beginning. Jesus Christ. Me mosey on over there once again. Oh, look at the clouds. They're pretty. Uh, probably want to keep going over here. I'll get the hang of this area soon. <clears throat> and then here we go. Ooh. Can't go in that way. So what is it now? You need something? Got a problem? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> you want some? All right, I'll pay you. What's you fuck. Be? A few caps to find out where your father went? Sure. Uh, wasteland. Actually, I didn't really ask him about anything here. What's the word around town? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Hmm. Okay. Lucy is shaking up. Uh, what are you doing around right here? I keep these yokels knee deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee deep in caps. <laughs> it's a fair trade if you ask me. A poon. Boo, booze and poon. Uh, what can you tell me Stay about this the place? Stay the fuck business. Don't go where you don't belong and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. Oh man, I don't like you. Alright, just tell me where my father you is. You got memory problems, kid? You ain't getting something for nothing. So pony up the 300 caps and then we'll talk. Yeah, you a deal for a hundred. Oh, no, no, no. I offered a deal for a hundred caps. You declined. So now I'm offering a new deal for three hundred caps. But why worry about trivialities when your father's safety could be at stake? Well, I suppose it was. Yeah, fuck All you. Right, because I'm such a softy, I'll honor our original agreement. Your dad came through here all right. Didn't stay long, though. Said he had some important business to attend to and headed off to the city. Something to do with Galaxy News Radio. Guess that'd be the place for you to start. Good hunting and thanks for the caps. That was it. Damn, I just got fucking swindled, bro. Galaxy News Radio is some la Three dog, the king of that loony... But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland... Alright, so we gotta go... Fucking three dog, bro. You need something? 
What are you staring at, Andy? Alright, uh, where can we go? We might go to the... What's, like, the closest thing we got around here? Oh, no, no. The Super Duper Mart might be a good place to, to head to. Um, oh, we have a lot to go through. Find Galaxy News Radio. Uh, actually, do, do we have that here? Oh, we do. Not too long ago, I was thought that a cat recently left home 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 home. Home. His name is James. A guy. Turns out, it gets better. I got a new report here that says someone else has just climbed out of that hole. What the hell is going on down there? Revolution? Vacation? Somebody fart? Your guess is as good as mine. Thanks for listening, children. This is Three Dog. When you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, we're Radio Free Wasteland, and we're here for you. And now, some music. It's Cole Porter, and anything goes. Hmm. We got a fine galaxy radio, wherever that's coming out of. All right, what else have we got? Um, the Supermart place. Uh, disarm the atomic bomb. I do want to disarm it. Oh, I want to do this one, the, the replicated man. I think we'll do the survival guide thing for now, though. Um, I don't know if going at night is a bad idea. Probably is. <laughs> um, maybe we shouldn't go at night. Oh, just broke my ankles. Eh, screw it. We're gonna go. Skedaddle. You have anything else to say, Lucas? Good to see you, staying up. Uh, I met a man named Burke. Uh, he said he'd pay me to rig the bomb to explode. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. Um. Yeah, what if you ask someone else to explode the bomb? You should do something. Good point. Oh, here we go. Come with me. You're about to get an education in wasteland justice. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. What the fuck? Yo, Lucas is bunny hopping. <laughs> yeah, he's about to load him up. Lead. Give me his house, then. Nathan, you're supposed to be going home to your wife. Oh, no. Evening. The saloon's about to get busy. You there, Burke. Explain your business in Megaton. Got a problem? I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Oh, no. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. Yeah. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with oh, me. Oh, something's about to happen. Why do you knuckle draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Oh, all right. Oh! oh no! You're a Lucas, no! <laughs> no! No! Hey, zombie. Yeah, you. Come here. Didn't even have anything good. Oh no. Plus five speech. Ooh. Yes, sir, Mr. Jericho. 
Bro, what the fuck? I liked him. I'll take his assault rifle. But... House key, Lucas. Oh. Sure thing. Looking for a drink. A traveler, <laughs> eh? I'm in disbelief, bro. Well, shit. All right. Well. I don't even know what to say. What the fuck just happened? You need something, Cupcake? Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you on. Shut up, Manya. Manya. Ugh, no. Well, where's Lucas's house at least? Bro, I... What the fuck? He's dead? Oh, this gun looks pretty cool, though. Well, shit, do I even want to disarm the damn bomb now? Like, what do I even get out of it? Where would Lucas's house be? That's what I'm... My dad told me about how you're going to disarm the bomb. He gave me some stuff for you when you get it done. Well, with my dad gone, I don't really know. Dad always said that I'd have to learn to watch out for myself one day. I'm sorry. What do you think of the place? I don't know. I used to like it. But ever since dad, I don't know. There's the stalls. They were in the brass lantern. I go there to eat with my dad sometimes. Doc Church runs the clinic. The confessor's a little weird. But him and Mother Meyer are always nice to me. There's also Moriarty, but Dad says I'm not allowed to talk to him. Sorry. Oh, that's who Harden was. Oh my god. This place is fucked. Blow it up. What the fuck? I actually can't believe that just happened. Oh. oh, yeah, is Lucy here? I want to talk to Lucy. She seems like she could have a cool, like, quest. She's not here, though. Wow, I'm spending, like, two hours in, in Megaton. Megaton. I keep saying it. So many different ways. Ugh. <sighs> I don't know where his house is, but... I feel bad. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this guy actually seemed dope as fuck, too. I want that hunting rifle, but I also don't want to steal from him. Are you walking around with a knife? All right, let me go to the the water treatment plant really quick. Um, the kid's gonna be there. Maybe we can stop him from doing comes. Uh. Where is he? Is he in the building? I guess so.
It's you. I was hoping that you'd have moved on. What do you want? How's the chem prom treating you? Look, keep your bullshit judgments to yourself, man. Just don't tell Jenny or Andy and we'll be fine. Oh, I'm gonna go tell him. Anytime. I'm gonna go tell them. You're fucked, buddy. Jenny! Jenny! Oh! Oh my god, I thought you were about to attack me, Jenny. Sorry, man. I'm off the clock. Noodle time is over. Oh, I can't even tell him about it. All Come right. back if you need something. Well, let me go. Alright, we're gonna do one more thing in here. We're gonna go to the supply place. Um, I give unto you these feeble bones. I present to you God, how do I get over there again? Supply. Saloon. I beg of you. Behold, uh, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his glory. The hell is he growling at me for? Mm, shut your ass up. Alright, supplies. Is it here? Oh, I. Fuckers. I mean, where did, where did Walter go? I feel like I have, like, shit I can give him. Ugh, I don't know where anyone goes. Because, look, I'm actually quite filled up on items here. Hmm, I guess I could just drop shit. All right, I think it's time to it's time to head out, man. We're gonna do the wasteland survival guide, I think. I think that could be uh, good for us. Um, over that way, okay. Right? Am I looking at that right? Yes, I am. I don't know. All right, let's leave. Leave this place. Welcome. Oh, we actually we wanted to put um some apparel on. Kind of down to do the, the sheriff hat. No, it wasn't the pre-war hat. Oh man, you can't have both on, okay. Hmm. That's annoying. Oh wait, the Vault 11, actually, that's quite useful. Take a ton. Please stand clear of the gate. Oh yeah, I'm looking nice. Alright, where are we going? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. over into my right, over this way. Hopefully, going out at night wasn't a bad choice. We're finally exploring the wasteland, everybody. After spending uh, an hour and forty minutes in Megaton, Megaton. Probably follow a main road, but eh, whatever. Oh! Oh! Oh, what ah. are vat? Wait, what are. Uh, vats, 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 vats. It's v? Ugh. Why is it V? Like Q. I know how to. Fuck off. Oh, wow. Alright, so this thing be fucking tapping. Alright. That's good to know.
All right, we got a little silo here. Scrap metal, oh, that's what he needed. Okay. Hmm. Oof, that guy was taking a bath. 10 millimeter rounds, wonderful. Chinese armor spec ops training manual. Ooh, carton of cigs, bro. That'll sell for some good money. Ooh, squirrel on a stick. That icon is fucking hilarious. Oh, here's the road, then. I actually don't like using uh, that gun right now. We're going to go back to the... Let's do the... 32 pistol. Ooh. Little revolver action. Oof. I actually don't have much ammo for that. All right. Yeah, down to just go back to the 10 millimeter. All right, let's take this main road. The Adventures of Captain Cosmos. Nice. My glorious flashlight. <laughs> Wonder how long this game is. I'm not really in a rush to beating it. Just taking my time and uh. I don't know, actually enjoying a Fallout game. Playing uh, through one that I should have played a long time ago, but we're here now at least. Got this plate. No! Oh, fuck me, they're strong. Really strong. Oh! <laughs> Meyer lurks. I hate Meyer lurks, bro. Oh, fuck. Ew. They run like, like humans. The fuck. Are they still coming up here. Oh, he is. All right, we gotta keep going. Hello, my beautiful America. This is President Eden, and it's time we had a talk. When I was a child, growing up, <gasps> in Kentucky, oh my God! I had the best friend, a boy Where the fuck did you come from? I want to listen to you. Irresponsible and completely inseparable. Was yeah! Get him! Get him! Get him! <gasps> oh, fuck me. Nope. I'm out. He destroyed that robot in like two hits. That means I am... I have no uh, chance. So... We're going to keep going. My lyrics will be for another day. Hey, actually, we have a little water tower here. I don't know if... I keep getting distracted, bro. I'm kind of just exploring everything. Uh... Ooh, something's going down over there. What is here? Activate water tower valve. Oh, I just... Okay. Oh. Ah, okay. Actually, I think after I make this video... Oh, what the fuck happened? I might look up some, like, very basic, like, tips for Fallout 3. Just so... Get Kind of get, like, a... 
little bit of a grip on uh, things going on. Also, what happened here? Um, is this the Mart? It is. Okay. This place is uh fucked. Oh, you have discovered uh, discovered several locations. You can fast travel back to discovered locations by using. Oh, nice. I did not know you could do that. Oh shit. Ah. Oh fuck me. Why did you see me? All right. Well, we got raiders here. Uh, means we gotta be careful. Going around is probably our best option. Oh, I can't see through the fence. Oh, nice, it's getting bright out. Cool. I think they all want, they went inside. Okay. All right. I have a feeling we're gonna have a. Ooh, Nuka Cola Quantum. Cool. All right. Hope this goes well. Ooh, let me... I don't know if there's a quick way of... swapping between, uh... weapons. There might be. I'm just... not the sharpest tool in the shed, but... Alright, this one got a suppressor on it. Did that hit? Oh. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? Come on, boys. Fresh meat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on, we need to hit some headshots here. Come on. Fuck. Alright. Uh, stim pack. Uh. Would you just I'm gonna use... Oh, we ain't hitting that, bro. Oh shit. Nice. What'd you have? Five five six bottle cap. Nice. Got you. Ooh, assault rifle. Mmm. -hmm. Now we're getting somewhere. Alright. What did we need? We needed food and uh, medicine. Okay. Ooh, bobby pin. That's nice. Maybe I could find both. Alright, cool. Uh, Alright, let's see if they have like a pharmacy counter. This kind of looks like one. Laser pistol. Ooh, fuck yeah. Wonder glue. That's always useful, I believe. Um, a stealth boy. I know how to do this. Oh, shit. No, I don't. Oh, uh, it's W. Okay. 
Wasn't too sure what it is on PC. Energy cells. Fuck yeah. Fresh meat. Kick ass. Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> he came out of nowhere! <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm also uh, I'm playing on hard if that's cool for you guys. I don't know. Holy fuck. What the fuck? No. Uh, all right. Stim packs. Yes, please. Uh, Blamco mac and cheese. I'm okay. I'll take some cigarette cartons, though. Um... Let's use that laser pistol. Um, I'm really gonna have to get rid of some stuff eventually. Oh, look at this beauty. I don't know if tin cans are useful, but. Oh, this has a weird light to it, okay. I'm surprised they even have lighting in here. Is there a fusion core roundabout? They love stringing people up, don't they? Oh, fuck off, buddy. Yeah, suck my balls. Well, I should actually... I should probably watch out. Um, Let's try this out. Oh shit, it's like a MP5. Is there like a a keybind for a stim pack? Um Yeah, I don't think there is. That's That's annoying. I'm so privileged. All right, uh, let's hit some torso shots, bro. Holy fuck, bro. Wait, how are these not hitting? What the fuck? Okay. Goddamn raiders. Ooh, super duper pharmacy key. Fuck yeah. Um, let's get some food, shall we? All right, I actually don't want to use all this ammo because I don't have much of it. Oh! All right, we need some headshot luck here. Come on, crit. Yes. How are you not dead? Holy hell. Come on, I need it. Yes. You, you had something crazy. Combat shotgun. Yeah, that's what it was. Holy shit. Uh, wow. Oh, fuck. I'm over encumbered. No. Uh, all right, we could drop. How do you drop shit? Do I have to, like, transfer it, maybe? I don't know. We'll just do it like this, though. Transfer that. I feel like you got to keep the BB gun, bro. Mm. Go to that one. All right. We got some space now. Let's try the shotgun out. 
Oh, fuck yeah. This is like the... One from Fallout 4 a little bit. Sorry for all the Fallout 4, like, comparisons. It's just, it's kind of all I can relate to. <laughs> so. Alright, where would the food be? Maybe back there. Oof. I don't know if I want to sleep there. I might get, like, a disease. <laughs> like, dead ass. Ten millimeter rounds, ten millimeter, fuck yeah. Yeah, I got the key on my body, bro. Dart, okay. Um any food? We're back. Somebody open up the hang on. Something ain't right here. What is in there? He just said we're back. I'm about to get fucking ran through, aren't I? Any nuke? Oh shit, I'm over encumbered again. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh. Wait, am I? I actually can't tell. Oh, I am. <laughs> oh. It's probably all this shit. How do you drop stuff? Wait. Oh, it's right click. Was that what it was? Oh, it is. All right. That's cool. Um. I'm going to put those on. All right, that's good to know. Right click is to drop. I think these conductors are like important. I don't know. Punch box. Ooh, scrap metal. Ooh, automated maintenance, you say? Oh no, I'm not good at these, bro. All right, poles, two out of five, right? P U L L S. No, P U L L. All right, it's close to walls. W A L L S. Could be nails. W A L L S. No. Fuck. Um, walls. Balls is ball halls. <laughs> I'm so bad at fucking terminals, bro. It's actually sad. It's gonna take me a while to get that. Bro, is there any food? There is no food here. Oh, I didn't even know that updated. Oh, well, oh. I'm blind. Let me see if I can do this again. I want to unlock this dude. Oh, you're not allowed back in it? I mean, I would assume it's like a cooldown, but... Shit. Can I teleport? <laughs> uh, oh, I can't fuck her yet. Come here. 
Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, you're fucked, buddy. Yeah! Pack of cigs. Fuck yeah. I actually don't want to use all my ammo. Go back to the 10 millimeter. This guy's hurt, bro. I gotta leave. Get the fuck out of here. Actually, I want to kill him all. Yeah, you're gonna be dead here soon. Head crippled. Bam. Oh. I'm so stylish too. I'm um, popping your head off. You want pro? You got a problem with me? Yeah, I didn't think so. Think. Right. Oh, level up. Yeah, that's why I stayed here. All right. What can we do? Barter, uh, prices, big guns. Probably not gonna do that. Energy weapons, medicine, hmm. I'm thinking we do explosives. I fucking forget what level it was. Um, let me look it up. Uh, explosive level. Bomb and Fallout 3. What do I need? 25. All right. Let's just get this up five levels. And then we'll spend the rest uh, somewhere else. Well, you know what's weird? It's like... The only person I talked to that only wanted the bomb gone was Lucas. Everyone else does not give a shit. For the most part. So we'll just get up to 23 for now. Um, uh, medicine determines how much hit points will replenish. Alright, this, I want to get this up to 30, bro. Just because I feel like my stem packs are not doing shite. Uh, science skill... Computer scientific knowledge from the user hack. Okay. Wouldn't mind getting my sneaking up. Uh, maybe get small guns up to 40 and then we'll get sneak up too. I like that. Oh, we got some new uh, perks here. Okay. Uh, Swift learner. Keep that the same. Thief, nah. Child at heart. Greatly improves your interactions with, tri with children, usually in the form of unique dialogue. Okay. Comprehension. You gain one additional skill point whenever a skill book is read. Ooh. Educated. You gain three more skill points every time you advance in a level. This perk is best taken early on to maximize its effectiveness. That's actually pretty cool. Bro, there's so many perks. Holy hell. Scoundrel. <laughs> Your willy charms to influence people. Wow. I'm actually kind of... I think educated... will benefit me in the long run, so we're going to do that. Oh, what the fuck? What? How the fuck are you alive? Oh, one shot! Oh, look at the eyeball! Oh my goodness! 
Fuck me. Alright, let's uh, TP back to uh, Megaton. He has fast traveled back. Uh, let's go talk to the girl in the supply spot. What was her name again? Uh, Moira. Sorry, it's going to take me a while to remember these names. This shit's gonna go off if I don't disarm it. I know it's going to. It's. It, I think it's pretty much inevitable, but. I don't know. Is it really my job to do that? It, they don't really seem like they want gone. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? They did. I checked out the super duper mart, but nothing's there. What the fuck? Why would I lie? I want. I want some calves. Low key. It wasn't easy, but I got the food and medicine. Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Uh, I found raiders and a robot. It was hardly a safe place to scavenge. It was counting. <laughs> it's rare to talk my way past that many people shooting at me. I don't got endurance. You do what you need to do to get food and medicine, I guess. It's not pretty. But I guess that's the way it's got to be, right? Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. <laughs> the taste kind of grates after a while. Oh, oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, um, better. Hmm. Okay. Food sanitizer. Uh, I'm ready to continue research on the first chapter. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Uh, let's hear about the radiation. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Okay. Yeah, how could that be worth it for oh, me? Oh, don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get back. Well, mostly just a whole lot of rad X and rad away. And maybe even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation. Assuming it works, of course. Assuming it works, of course. Ah, uh, sure, I'll get it. Oh, you're yeah. a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy <sighs> fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. I don't even know where to get that done at. Okay. Yeah, let's see what you have for sale. I actually sure want to sell thing. some stuff. Um, weapons. I'm not a big fan of 32 pistols, so we'll get rid of that. Um, get rid of this assault rifle. Uh, I gotta keep the BB gun for a little bit, bro. Uh, bottle cap mine. I'm probably not going to use it. Chinese assault rifle. Wow, this thing is expensive. Okay. We'll keep that then. Chinese pistol. Combat shotgun I like. Grenades. We'll just use them. Um, what else can we sell? The security armor. I don't really need it. Um, aid. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna sell half my buff out. Um, half my jet too, bro. That's all. That's all she got. Okay. Low key. Good hunting. I want you to 
repairing my stuff. Unless it's a steaming what could we do? Um... Oh yeah, my silence pistol, I think. Um... Oh, wow, it just does it that quick? Okay. Do the shotgun, too. Oh, no, that's a lot of caps. We're just gonna save the rest for now, I think. Date. Alright, cool. Uh, how's our... Load... Oh, yeah. Fuck, we're quite heavy. Alright, um... Oh. You know what? Uh... I really didn't want to talk about the radiation. Um... Yeah, what do you have for sale? I actually want to sell some more stuff. Uh, weapons... I think we're gonna get rid of the assault rifle just because we have the Chinese one. Uh, combat shotgun. I'm gonna get rid of it for now. Um, yeah, it's pretty good for now. I mean, this stuff is taking up a lot of space. I think we might as well just get rid of it. Same with the pre-war hat. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Rad roach meat, please get rid of it for me. I don't want it. Oh, wait, we actually need stem, stem packs, bro. Alright, I'm fine with that. Good hunting. Bye. Come. What are we at now? Eh. A little better. Alright, well, what are we looking at with uh, quests now? We got the survival guide, um, find galaxy news radio. I guess that's it over there, right? Okay. Um... Learn more about the escape android, bro. Hmm. We'll save that for next time, I guess. But, yeah, I think for that's going to be it for today, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this. I'm excited to see where this takes us from here on out. Just because it seems that we were born on the surface. Uh, my dad's been lying to me, so it's like everything's up in the air. Uh, I feel like I should do something about that, but we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next uh, episode of the Fallout 3 playthrough. See you guys later. Peace out.